You've probably been corrected for slouching at some point in your life, but there's a good reason for that. Poor posture can cause some serious physical issues. So what are the most common habits we might be guilty of? Here are the posture mistakes that make you look older. I know that people make mistakes. If you keep carrying that around with you, you won't be able to stand up straight. Good posture leads to positive changes in your body. Standing and sitting up straight takes pressure off our muscles and joints. It also leads to a strong core and back. In addition to all the physical benefits, good posture just makes you feel better, since sitting up tall can help alleviate stress. Studies have also linked good posture to increased self-confidence. In a study from Ohio State University, researchers found that participants who sat with good form were more likely to believe that they were qualified for a job than their slumped over peers. Did anyone press a button? The right stance can even help improve or possibly prevent depression. One university professor told the San Francisco State News, We tend to think the brain and body relationship goes one way. In fact, the passages go both ways. When you choose to put your body in a different mode, it's harder to drop into depression. Slouching forward in a chair puts strain on your sensitive back muscles, pulling them and causing soreness. Then when your muscles become inflamed and fatigued, it's only natural you'd want to slump over even more. But sitting this way could mean the height of your chair isn't right for you. When your chair is too high, your legs dangle, which can lead to decreased circulation and even varicose veins. If your chair is too low, leaning forward in it can put stress on your lower back and even lead to disc issues. As long as I sit still and don't move my head or torso, I'm good, I got this. If your chair is adjustable, make sure both of your feet are on the ground and that both your hips and knees are at a 90 degree angle. Even better, make sure you're taking plenty of walking breaks throughout the day. When we slouch while, say, standing in line for the new iPhone, we sink into our hips. This then causes our head to lean forward, putting stress on our neck, according to the US News and World Report. To stand up tall, it's important to have a strong core, back, and glutes to hold our bodies upright. And you can build that with core-strengthening exercises like planks to help hold you tall. This hunching forward can also lead to rounded shoulders. If you want to test yourself to see if you're guilty of this, stand in front of the mirror and let your arms hang at your sides. If your knuckles naturally face forward, your shoulders are already rounded. Luckily, you can remedy this by stretching your chest muscles and strengthening your upper back. Hunching over your computer or phone will quickly age you. The posture is usually the result of a weak upper back and tight chest muscles, according to the NHS. Hunching over your phone or computer can lead to upper and lower back pain, as well as painful trigger points or muscle knots in your upper back. Do this every day and you'll start to develop a rounded upper back, giving you a slight hump back look. Am I scared of a stupid computer? Please. To combat this universally experienced posture issue, work on stretching your core and chest muscles and strengthening your back. It can be tempting to cradle your phone between your neck and shoulder if your hands are full, or if you're on the run when you take a call. If you've ever worked in an office answering phones, certainly you've been guilty of this on at least one occasion in an attempt to multitask. But this practice can eventually lead to hunched shoulders, according to Healthline. And that, in turn, can make you look older. So use a headset or headphones if your hands aren't going to be free to take a call. Even scarier is that if you spend long periods of time cradling your phone, you're putting yourself at risk for serious health problems like a stroke, according to The Guardian. A little harsh, Gretch. <sighs> Whatever, she has a right to know. Few things are more relaxing than sinking into the couch after a long day of work or falling into your super comfy bed when you're tired. But while binging Stranger Things and Glow isn't going to hurt you, the problem arises when you bring a laptop into the equation, according to one orthopedic spine surgeon. The expert told NBC News that working in bed or on the couch can cause your posture to collapse, causing you pain as you look at the computer in your lap. The same applies when you're looking down at your phone too much, which can exacerbate spinal compression. That posture can even shave inches off of your height over time, according to experts. Most people will tell you that they prefer sleeping in a specific position. Some folks prefer sleeping on their sides, while others can only conk out on their backs. Given that most people spend a lot of time in bed, eight hours per night if you're lucky, 
That's a long time to spend in any one position. Well, maybe you like having no circulation, having your legs go numb. It turns out not all sleep positions are created equally, and the best iterations are those that keep your spine as straight as possible. A neurosurgeon told NBC News that sleeping on your stomach can strain your neck and lower back, and recommended a firmer mattress if that's the only way you can rest. This feels amazing! If possible, try sleeping on your back with a pillow under your knees or on your side with a pillow between your legs. According to the expert, both of those options are better for your back. Backpacks aren't just for kids. They can help you lug all kinds of items around without the use of your hands, which is great for activities like hiking. Plus, backpacks are better for your posture than messenger bags, heavy purses, and shoulder bags, according to an orthopedic surgeon who wrote for US News & World Report. When worn correctly, the weight is evenly distributed across the shoulders and the back, reducing the risk of shoulder or neck strain that can sometimes result from carrying a purse or any other bag on just one side of the body. But once you start packing your bag too full of heavy items, the benefit goes out the window. The expert added, when the muscles surrounding the spine get used to being treated this way, they tend to more easily remember this position, creating a habitually lousy posture. You're probably well aware that there's both a right way and a wrong way to lift heavy things. That's why it's important to bend your knees, not your back, keep your chest forward, and hold the object close to your body. But if you don't follow these simple suggestions, you could really hurt yourself. One physical therapist wrote in Spine Health, getting out of position during lifting can put a great deal of stress on the lower back muscles, and when the demand is too high on a muscle, it can be injured. When you want to really rock your look, which shoes do you reach for first? If they happen to be sky-high heels, you might want to rethink wearing them on the regular. It appears that no matter how much you love your pumps, they can cause legit damage to your posture. A chiropractor and shoe designer told Footwear News, High heels, especially those over 3 inches, do not help you stand up straight. Instead, they cause your pelvis to tilt forward, accentuating the curve in your lower back. I put my feet in some vodka, so they numb. This pressure can cause muscle strain as well, which forces your body to overcompensate in order to stand tall. So in order to avoid aging your spine, the expert recommends custom orthotics for your heels, or maybe just sticking with flats instead. By now, you've probably heard that sitting too much can cause a variety of health problems. And maybe that's inspired you to start exercising or invest in a standing desk in order to reduce the amount of time you spend stuck in a chair. Standing has proven to be healthier, increases productivity, and just looks cooler. But if your job demands that you stand all day, all that time on your feet can be harmful too, according to the American Chiropractic Association. So in order to avoid injuries that can mess with a healthy appearance, stand with your knees slightly bent and your weight mostly on the balls of your feet. Keep your shoulders back and feet shoulder width apart, and activate your core to support your spine. You can also shift your weight from toe to heel to preserve good posture. Slumping over and compressing your spine not only makes you look older, but it actually makes you look and feel weak. Across all species, posture sends a message about power, according to Scientific American. When you stand up straight, you look like a force to be reckoned with. She's a She's ready. A study in psychological science also found that standing up straight and taking up more room with your body, such as placing your hands on your hips instead of hanging at your sides, made study participants feel more powerful. Standing this way even changed their hormone levels, promoting elevated levels of testosterone and lower levels of cortisone. Even more reason to skip the slouching and stand up for yourself. If you've ever felt fatigued running up a flight of stairs or racing to the door, don't just chalk it up to age. Shortness of breath, achy muscles, and even acid reflux could actually be coming from bad posture. A spokesperson for the American Physical Therapy Association told Today, Headaches and tension in the shoulders and back are often created by chronic bad posture. If you're slouching, you may also have gastrointestinal reflux or feel fatigued because you're unable to breathe deeply. Make sure you're giving all your vital organs the space they need by standing up tall. If you're concerned about your posture, the Mayo Clinic recommends using the wall test to evaluate your stance. To quickly do your own personal check-in, 
Baylor College of Medicine recommends standing against the wall so that the back of your heels, your butt, your shoulder blades, and the back of your head are all touching the surface. That sensation of standing perfectly tall is your ideal posture. Once you achieve the position, step away from the wall, keeping that alignment. You're beautiful. Am I? Come on, girl. I feel like we're before and after pictures right now. The best way to fix any posture issue is to check your stance throughout the day. The longer you hang out in a slouched, hunched over position, the more damage you'll do and the harder it will be to reverse. A therapist told the UK National Health Service, correcting your posture may feel awkward at first because your body has become so used to sitting and standing in a particular way. But with a bit of practice, good posture will become second nature and be one step toward helping your back in the long term. Take a minute to think about the activities you do each and every day. If you sit at a desk for work, make sure your chair is nice and high so you're not forced to look up or down at your work. Aim for having the address bar at the top of your screen at eye level. Working with a laptop? A stack of books under it could be just the thing to bring it to the right height. Next, keep your keyboard close to your body to avoid reaching forward. And remember, our bodies are meant to move. So give yourself plenty of standing and walking breaks. Finally, we also need strong muscles to hold our bodies upright, and you will benefit by working stretching and strength training into your day. Yoga is perfect for this and really focuses on proper posture and alignment. Keep those muscles moving and grooving, and you'll be standing strong and looking young for decades to come. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more The List videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.